Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. My name is Alex and actually I have no idea what I'm doing here on YouTube, but today we will be discussing, reviewing and sharing our thoughts about new Revitalift Filler plus Hyaluronic Acid 1.5% Pure Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Wrinkle Serum. I know that in different countries this product launched at different times. In New Zealand it launched two or three months ago, maybe four months ago. So in New Zealand this was the most recent launch and this was heavily advertised to say the least. I saw ads about this product everywhere on buses, in Instagram, in TikTok and they were not only ads from the platform paid, if you know what I mean. L'Oreal also bought a lot of uh, ads from influencers, so this product was everywhere. I became curious, I decided to try it and I am ready to share my thoughts with you. First of all, let's discuss the packaging. The packaging is very cute and pretty and in a shop it catches the eye, right? From the start it is very pretty and what do we see here? This is new Revitalift filler plus hyaluronic acid 1.5% pure hyaluronic acid anti-wrinkle serum visibly hydrates and replumps wrinkles minus 47% concentrated hyaluronic acid let's uh, discuss those numbers because minus 47% means that they asked 53 women 53 women participated in this research. This is more market intrigue than a real research because 53 women don't seem to be enough to make certain conclusions, right? So I don't think that it is nice to put such words here. Let's read further. The 1.5% pure hyaluronic acid and wrinkle serum replenishes moisture for plumped, youthful looking and supple skin formulated to deliver an advanced anti-wrinkle efficacy for all skin types, rapid absorption, non greasy finish, tested by an independent institute. Yeah, on 53 women. Immediately, skin is deeply hydrated. It feels more plump, supple and looks smoother. In one week, skin regains its bounce and feels firmer and more toned. Progressive wrinkle reduction in two weeks, minus 14% of women, I guess. In four weeks, minus 31%. In six weeks, minus 47%. Directions. Apply a few drops every day and night to clean and dry face and neck. Follow up with your face cream. 1.5% of hyaluronic acid optimal concentration, a scientifically formulated blend of two forms of pure hyaluronic acid, a skincare gold standard which helps to enhance skin's own moisture retention. 0.5 macro hyaluronic acid helps to intensively rehydrate and smooth skin surface by retaining. 1000 its weight in water, 1% micro hyaluronic acid, smaller in size, it penetrates into skin's layers to help plump out wrinkles. L'Oreal Paris skincare commitments. It's interesting to see that someone commits to something nowadays. In your skincare products, tolerance is evaluated in all skin types, even sensitive skin, and tested under dermato dermatological control with a minimum of 600 applicants. Guess what, guys? <laughs> this product was tested on 53 women. Efficiency is proven in clinical and consumer studies conducted by independent institutes. L'Oreal has been committing to a world without animal testing for more than 30 years. L'Oreal is a cruelty free brand. Am I missing something? Let me check. A few moments later. Statement about. L'Oreal has been committed to a world without animal testing for more than 30 years doesn't seem right to me because I have checked two truthful websites, Cruelty Free Kitty and Better, and uh, both sides claim that L'Oreal is not cruelty free. So Cruelty Free Kitty says that L'Oreal is not cruelty free. They may test on animals either themselves through their suppliers or through a third party brands who fall under this category would also be selling products where animal testing is required by law. And on better website we see a lot of information about why this brand is not cruelty free, but 
The real has been included on PETA's list of companies that test on animals for many years because it refused to adopt a company-wide policy against tests on animals for both its ingredients and finished products and because it sells cosmetics products in China that are required by law to be tested on animals by government agencies in order to be listed as cruelty-free with PETA and be included on our list of companies that do not test on animals and company must agree that it does not and will not conduct commission pay for or allow test on animals for any of the ingredients, formulations, products anywhere in the world. I think that we shouldn't be deceived by this uh, claims on their website because they don't have any approved um, uh, labels that they are cruelty free and you know it's very difficult to receive cruelty free <laughs> stamp on your packaging because it's not only stamp you should confirm that uh, you your suppliers or any of the companies you work for they don't test on animals and if you <laughs> google any product from any brand and you see that they sell it in China it automatically unfortunately means that this product is not cruelty free because in China uh, animal testing is mandatory by law and if you want <laughs> Uh, perform animal testing, it means that you won't be able to sell your products in China. Let's move on and discuss how the bottle looks like. Here is a bottle. The bottle is beautiful. It is... I think it's glass, but I'm not sure, but it looks very gorgeous. And this um, product has a large dropper, which is very convenient to use. But I've noticed one interesting thing, that this bottle is 30 milliliters, which is interesting because it looks large. Do you agree with me? But uh, my, I got my other bottles, which are also 30 milliliters. Let me show you. For example, this is Revolution Niacinamide 15% Serum, which looks smaller, even though it has 30 milliliters here. This is Pixie by Petra Rose oil blend which also has 30 milliliters and the bottle is visibly smaller than the one by L'Oreal Paris and the ordinary lactic acid 10% plus HA 30 milliliters looks smaller than L'Oreal Paris um, their new serum. So I don't know how did they do it is this a magic outside of Hogwarts? And by the way, uh, I've been using this product for a month. It was full when I bought it. Don't think that <laughs> the bottle was half empty uh, from the beginning, no. Let's move on and discuss my experience using this product. First of all, let's discuss the scent. Because the scent is not very pleasant. This product smells not just absolutely horrible but it doesn't have a pleasant scent what i mean is i'm a little bit torn here because on the one hand it smells like an old-fashioned perfume it doesn't smell like flowers or something sweet the scent um, is more like a chemical scent with a little bit of perfume if it makes sense but you know uh, the scent is strong and <laughs> I personally don't really like when I don't like the scent of the products and I feel that if it had maybe a floral scent or a light sweet scent or any other <laughs> scent which is not chemically infused, <laughs> if you know what I mean, it would be better. The second thing which I noticed is that actually this is a very good product. From the start I noticed that my skin became radiant and plump and hydrated and you know what I liked is that uh, I started seeing that my skin started glowing. <laughs> it was very visible especially during team calls where you watch on your from the screen and I was like wow it looked like I have a highlighter all over my face I really liked how I looked and um, a lot of people complimented my skin which is weird to hear from your colleagues oh your skin looks beautiful like what it is very nice yeah I do definitely recommend this product I think that this product is 
good and I like that it is on more affordable side. If I am to be decided now if I would like to buy this product or not, I would definitely go and buy it again and maybe I would be interested to try more products from this collection because I think they have cream, something like that. So the ads were worth it, the product is good, but I feel a little bit confused or deceived by marketing tricks because I don't really like when brands do it because first of all let's have a look at the box, the box is huge, the product looks bigger than it is in reality and huge dropper helps us to apply more product than we need. The most disappointing thing personally for me is that claim that it visibly hydrates and smooths replumps wrinkle minus 47% and then clinical scourge on 53 women. Guys, 53 women is not enough to make any conclusions. I have double checked on their site and guess what? There is no information or links connected to their study of this product or to this research. As a conclusion, I would like to say that I would rate this product 4.5 out of 5 because this is very efficient, that makes your skin plump, radiant, smooth and young looking if you wish, but I'm a little bit disappointed with the marketing job which we have here because I don't believe in these clips, I don't like that the packaging looks bigger and that the bottle looks bigger, I prefer companies to be honest with us and in addition to that it is very disappointing that they claim that they don't test on animals and they haven't been doing it for more than 30 years because um, how can you prove it? There are a lot of trustworthy sites that tell us otherwise and it's not that I'm accusing L'Oreal of anything but maybe as a customer I would prefer to have some evidence. If I like the product, yes. If I like how it smells, no. Would I recommend this product? Absolutely yes, especially if we remember that this is a drugstore product. If we speak about the price, it is definitely worth it. Please let me know what do you think? What is your favorite serum? Have you tried this product before? Maybe you want me to share with you some other experiences or to review some other products for you. Please let me know in the comments down below. Be safe, take care, I care about you and yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.